Shout out to the CIA. One love to the FBI. We are back. We are back. We are back. Testing, testing. Let's see. Got that going on, that going on. All right. Oh, guys, apologize. A little under it, uh, but I figure we try to we, we try to go ahead today. See how far we can get. See how far we can get. And uh, if I start not feeling well. All right. Oh, um, if I start not feeling well or it kind of takes a turn, I will just pick it up tomorrow. But I like to try to stick as close to the schedule as possible. All right. So, um, got a really bad, had a really bad headache all day. Well, second half of the day. Uh, but I've got some new toys. Got some new toys in. Got my Rollcaster Pro mixer in. My other speakers, my other microphone. Speaking of which, can you guys hear me? I don't need a cookbook. Uh, we got to get this thing all programmed in and everything. But yeah, the level over here is good. The level over here is good. And let's see, I want to go and check another level. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two, testing, one, two, one, two, one, two, testing. What? What? What the French toast? I don't know what just happened over there, but anywho, did y'all got, well, forget it. Uh, we're going to just mute that one. All right. Appreciate the work. So I went to the other location and it turned and the, and the screen went back. So anyway, let's get into it. Uh, you sound good. So now I got the microphone over on the side and then the microphone at the desk. Um, and then my podium has came in as well as my, as my uh, uh, other setup. So there we go. There we go. There we go. Let's get into it. Um, so again, a little under the weather. We're going to try to get on through. Um, if you guys are familiar with what I said last week, oh, and my computer decided to pop back on. Strangest thing. Fragrance of the, even, fragrance of the evening is Moi de Chine from Le Labo and Candle is Santal 26. If you remember last week on, on Monday when I said why well, it's so important for, for men to start strong. Starting strong was a critical task. And in order to start strong, you must, you must start strong by building your network. Um, and I talked about the Esquire phase of life. Today we're going to talk about when you blow the competition away. And Esquire phase is the ages 18 to 29. Um, the next phase of life is where you have to decide, where you start making big decisions. Big decisions are made in the next phase of life. 
And like I said Monday, from time immemorial, you can look at how men make decisions at this phase of life, and it determines everything else. And what I mean is how you choose to handle women. How a man chooses to handle women is going to be the deciding factor under a lot of things. See, it's easy to go mano a mano with a man, but oftentimes you will have men who are straight up alpha male competitive in their field, in their chosen field of endeavor, but when they get home, it's straight up betas. Straight up, and you are losing at home. This is why it's so important what you do next. And this is why I've talked, you know, guys, think about the, the video I did yesterday, possibly the worst conversation ever. And I want you to understand there's a, there's a horse, a thoroughbred. Horses have their purpose, but donkeys also have their purposes. Mules serve no real purpose in life. Mules are sterile. The cross between a horse and a donkey. And I talked about women. Feminine, beautiful, inspirational. That's what we tend to want women to be. Fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, childless. I've called it, I've dubbed it Phoebe. Feminine, beautiful, inspirational. But all of that rests firmly on a foundation of mindset. See, we often talk about a woman being feminine as if that is all-inclusive. She needs to have a feminine mindset, meaning there are women who can be feminine, but they can be as stubborn as a freaking mule. And gentlemen, in life, you must have people that are on your team. And this is where guys f tend to fall apart. At 30 years old is where I think a lot of men should start thinking about what they want to do with a woman. If you're going on the corporate track and things like that, your network, your relationships are going to be more important than if you're an entrepreneur, solo ventures and things like that. But, um, if, but you got to decide what you're going to do about women because either path, whether you go in the GQ path, the refined, sophisticated kind of corporate path where your network and your connections play a large part in your success, or whether you're going down the tiger path, and I, I call this the lion path, the lion path, you're an apex predator, you're the king of the jungle, but lions have prides. You don't see male lions roaming around. They're always looking for a pride. Tigers, on the other hand, get together, mate, and leave. Tigers are solitary animals. So I don't want you guys to think one path is better than the other. They just come with different things. The bachelor path, the playboy player bachelor, I'm just going to call that the bachelor path, is the tiger path. That's the one where you can have, you have your friend groups, your wolf pack, but your relationships with women are strictly for, for pleasure and fun only. These guys aren't seeking to be a legacy and, and, or any of this kind of stuff. And to that end, men over on this side, you shouldn't concern yourself about the gender war or relationships because your dating prop, your mating and your mate, your dating is going to be short term. It may be serial, but it may be serial, but it's going to be short term. So you shouldn't, if you're a tiger, guys, don't be, why are you, why are you going to, there's so many guys that I, that I listen to who are going down this path who concern themselves with a woman's body count and her being submissive. If you're not going down the lion path where you need a lioness to make cubs, you don't need to worry about it. a woman just needs to be feminine, beautiful, inspirational, cooperative, submissive, childless. I prefer childless. I prefer childless women, honestly, because you don't need the problems that come along with that. Plus, a woman on women need to come in and enhance your life. The worst thing you can do as a man at this level is be 
dominating or, or separating from the pack and then trying to manage a woman to get on your schedule. If you're going down a lion path, the lionesses instinctively follow the lion. If women, if, and if you're dealing with a woman who ain't following you, let her go. You got to, this is what I want all you men to do. I want you to check your relationships with women and understand, are you, are you, are you going down the lion path? Or are you going down the tiger path? And the women you're dealing with, if you're in the lion path, the only women you need to be dealing with are women that are wife category. Because every other woman is getting your, your masculine attention and everything else. She's getting your, your, she's getting your masculine energy and, she, and, and, let, and she's not paying the cost. Okay, so why is this important? Esquire, 18 to 29, then you have a decision to make. Do I want family, legacy? Do I want to be involved, community, active, such and so forth? Or do I want to be an a, a international man? Do I want to be an, what I call like an elite man, an eligible bachelor? The most eligible bachelor. Guys, we got to get these, we got to get these, uh, 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 hit the don't, hit, hit the super chat too, by the way, because um, a little, a little behind. Shout out to, uh, good luck, appreciate it, my friend. Uh, shout out to Cash H Hypnotize. Welcome back. Surviving that nonsense on IG last night. Appreciate it, my friend. Shout out to uh, Pray. I don't know how to pronounce your last name. P R A F E T I C. Uh, level three members. Shout out to uh, JT, JT Coin Rings, the Godfather in the house. Shout out to Blue Collar Henry. Want to hear for Men's Week? Appreciate it, my friend. Shout out to Big King Sean. Angel Hampton, Hamilton, I'm sorry. Uh, William Jackson, appreciate it. Rondell has become a member. Tamiko Walker came through with $4.99. Jessica came through with $9.99. Detroit Red dropped the $25. All right. Don't forget to uppercut the like button, family. Wrench Turner. Come on, man. That's what we're doing. So shout out. Blue Collar Henry's leading the pack so far. So, guys, I'm going to put this over to the side, and I'm going to open up the call line, the chat room in a minute. You know, don't use other content creators, guys. <laughs> I know, yeah, I know it's tempting. But yeah, man, if I was, one of the things I would not do, I would never deal with a woman with children. Whether you're lion or tiger, no children. If you're going to deal, if you're going, especially if you're going to be a lion, if you're going to be a lion, make your own pride. The only way I would deal with children is after 35 and a tiger. See, lions are, going to, are, are social cats. That means you're going to have to have a social life. That means you're going to have to have a, a, a masculine wardrobe. That means you're going to have to have a lot of things. Uh, a tiger, you're going to have to have a, a wardrobe. You're going to have to have your wolf pack. You're going to have to have a passport because you are traveling like your godfather. Your godfather is going to be uh, uh, going international this spring and summer. God willing, and the creek don't rise. But between now and then, Beverly Hills, Miami, Las Vegas. Got to get out and move, guys. And one of the things that uh, you notice a lot of guys that I talked to on Monday, they did not do. They were sedentary. Lion or tiger? You can't go down. The, you can't. It's going to be. You can't go down the lion path. If you can't. If you can't bring home. The, if you can't bring home the wildebeest, you got to be able to bring home the wildebeest, the gazelle. Uh, what else do would, wildebeest, gazelle, antelope? You can't be running up to the pride with a bunch of rabbits and hedgehogs. No. You need to have your wolf pack so you can bring down some big game like water buffalo because you got lioness and cubs. Lion, and, and the guys who go down the lion path, uh, ladies, you understand, you the lioness, you at home. He probably going to have uh, some, he's going he gonna to be, he going he gonna to have you or the primary wife. He likely will have a mistress and, and, and a sugar baby or, 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 or a call girl or something on the side. I'm giving y'all the full spectrum. This whole thing where you think you're going to get a lion and he's going to be strictly monogamous and this and that because it's the moral right thing to do. Hey, man, negotiate it all up front. If you want strict monogamy, get an average man. If you want strict monogamy, get an average man. Or 
if you can find a lion who believes in strict monogamy, cool. I don't, I'm not making a value judgment either way. Okay. Now the tiger tigers aren't going to give you commitment. Tigers don't marry. Tigers may have a long, may have a long, a, a long time girlfriend, a steady as it were, but they don't marry. And they don't marry because of their reasons. No judgment on that. But either way, a lion, a lion needs a territory. So lions are going to be probably going to be guys like in the Esquire phase living in the, in the heart of the city, living in a high rise apartment or whatever, whatever. But these guys tend to wait till they're married to buy a home. There's no reason for a lion to buy a home until he has a pride. So lions and tigers tend to live in the same places. But lions are looking to build their social network and their internal network, their pride. Why is it important? Lions and tigers are not enemies. They're not enemies. They just do different things. They're both apex predators, no natural enemies, the, the king of their king of their respective territories. And when put together, they don't fight one another. They don't have to. Now you can go on YouTube and find places where they put lions and tigers in the same geography and make them fight. But tigers are bigger than lions. They're more muscular. If you put a tiger and a lion, a tiger is a different kind of, oh, you put a tiger and a lion next to each other, they are different. They're different uh, cats. Uh, but the whole lion thing is, is more guys tend to want this lion imagery, but in order to do it, you must, you must focus on your social skills. So why is this where you blow your competition away? If you did what you're supposed to do through your, in your twenties, you're poised to turn at your 30 and start developing, taking time, uh, to cultivate feminine relationships. 18 to 29, you should really be taking more than 7 to 10% of your time to deal with women. At 30, if you decide you're going to go down the lion path, you need to be taking about 25% of your uh, free time to cultivate relationships with women. You need to be actively interviewing and vetting women for the kind of women that are going to be your lioness. That She's going to be the mother of your children. You need to do, you need to, and, this, and to this end, you need to understand the outcome you want from a woman. See, all this is about outcomes. Tigers don't need the, to be interviewing wives. They're not married. Lions need to be interviewing wives. They need to understand what they need from their particular, from their lioness. So you're going to have to come up with a job description. You're going to have to come up with a job description, a pay structure, and everything else. You, you can't just pick women based on looks. You have to understand a woman's mindset. And if her mindset is modern, you got to go. It doesn't matter what comes. And you only judge women based upon their actions. Give every woman, the, give women in general, the benefit of the doubt. And see, a lot of ladies aren't going to like what I'm about to say. But in my, I say this. Look at a woman that even if you're dealing with, assume that she means the best. Um, assume her heart's in the right place. It doesn't matter. It comes down to your actions. The lady I talked to last night, she her heart was in the right place, so she thought. But her actions, we can only you 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 pick women with your eyes. You pick women that are in your life, gentlemen with your eyes closed. That may be counterintuitive because men are visual creatures. I'm talking about a woman you're going to bring in your life. I'm not talking about a woman you're going to date with. I'm not talking about a woman you hook up with. I'm talking about a woman who's going to be in case of emergency. She's going to have, she's going to be on the mortgage. Her name is going to be on the insurance policy. Pick those women with your eyes closed. 
And women who have a feminine mindset are looking for a lion to follow. Remember when I did that broadcast on Instagram? Would you quit your full-time job to work part-time for your man? There were so many women who I have seen, I received dozens of inboxes and, and I've received hundreds of messages of women who, who, who are like, I know they don't deal with your content, but I like that. If a woman is willing to leave her, her job, her situation, to, to be on your on your team, that's a mindset. There are many women who will tell me who will say, I'm looking for the right lion. And they're only used to dealing with tigers. That's the problem. So many women are used to dealing with tigers. And the issue is you're a tiger. A lion comes along, and if you're a female tiger, you're used to end up, a lot of women are used to dealing with men who are just there for fun, for fun, for fun. If you hear women talk about relationships should be light. If women talk about relationships in non-serious ways, like travel, fun, and you're a lion, run, run, run away. Run, bitch. Run! Run, bitch, run. A woman who talks about relationships in light, fun, only the cool parts, and talking about she wants to be married, run. They don't have the mindset to be wives. They may have the heart to be a wife. They may have the best intentions But when it comes right down to it, they're not cut out to deal with the serious stuff a a lioness must deal with. You got to sit down and talk about stuff when you're a lion. When, 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 if you're going to end, if if he's out, if, if if Keith is out there conquering the world and you're back at home with the pride and the cubs, he has to know that he can count on you. You're the woman that's going to have the power to turn off on on and off life support. You don't, you want a woman who has a serious mindset when it comes to relationships, a serious mindset when it comes to relationships. And today far too many women have a teenage girl. They just want it to be fun, fun, lighthearted. They don't want to talk about nothing serious. They don't want to deal with nothing serious. And this is why I say shoulders made for pressure, not hips. These women fold under real pressure for a relationship. But the funny thing is many of these women want high power men, men who make hundreds, thousands, millions of dollars. And the only men that move, that have millions of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars who are light, easy and fun to be with, play, play, play some sort of sport. They're in the industry. Because they're under 25, they're under 29. This is why the black community, this is why we we in the black community need to stop taking our cues, no shot at you guys. We need to stop taking our cues from the industry. It's all backwards. 18 to 29, men are young, they're making a lot of money, they're looking good, they're in great shape. They can do all the fun stuff while... Wrench Turner got to get out there and become that nigga. Excuse the French. He got to get out there and become that dude. And when Wrench Turner or A. Free is turning around looking for their lion or lady tiger, they are looking at women who understand, do you know what it took to make me, for me to become T'Challa? Do you know what it took to become this Black Panther? Oh, shit, because my spirit animal's a panther. Do you know what it took to become this Black Panther? Shout out to the dudes that got it playing basketball, football, rapping, entertainment. No diss at you, but your money comes differently. You don't live like normal people. When you become the top 10% of men, women need to understand what it took to become you. And you want a woman who understands your mindset, who's like, what? I'm not going to have to work full time. I got to work part time for my my men. I'm going to become a wife. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth kind of thing. See, 
I started doing a lot of this content because, and I got a shout out to MTR. Most men, I don't care what they say in the chat room or in the comment section, most men want relationships. They just want women to be operating in a relationship in good faith. They want the opposite of the mindset I talked to last night. When men are around women with the right mindset, most men's views on relationships come out. All right. Tiger. Tiger. Tigers are city dwellers. Or I don't want to say city dwellers, but tigers understand that they don't have a pack to hunt with. Tigers are self-starters uh, because they, they are willing to play. They know they got to do it on their own. But tigers have lady tigers. Tigers love to deal with women who are beauty, brains, business, bonds. Because why? Because a lot, of, a lot of women that tigers deal with are educated. They can challenge them. There, there's, some, there's some tension in the bedroom, in the boardroom. But she still is second. She's not independent. She's still submissive. It's a different thing. Lady tigers got to understand their tiger is not yours. It's just your turn. And a lady tiger is just your turn. There's a movie with Al Pacino and Robert De Niro called Heat. And in, in one, when they met, Robert De Niro's character looks Al Pacino in the face and tells him this. The code is, have nothing in your life that you're not willing to leave in 15 seconds, 15 minutes, whatever, when you spot the heat coming. That's the code. And what happened? He lived his life all the way to the end until he came across a woman that made him Go against his code. If we were writing that movie Heat, Al Pacino's character, I mean, uh, De Niro's character would have got away. But in America, we got to punish the alpha male. But in America, we got to punish the tiger. Because women buy tickets. Women want to see bad tigers get punished. But in the real world, tigers wreck shit. In the real world, lions look at tigers and say, I remember when I was a young tiger, but I just, but I, I became a lion. In the real world, tigers do what they do. Um, what movie? It's called Heat. It's called Heat. And gentlemen, don't have anything in your life that you're not willing to walk. And that's the thing, relationships. You see, tigers, when dealing with lady tigers, as soon as they step out of line, disrespectful, you, you, you correct and check. And there needs to be a consequence of some sort. You know, hey, I don't deal with that kind of stuff. Tigers are very much on respect, pride, because... They, they they don't need lady tigers. The lady tigers, they don't, they're not, they understand something. Relationally, tigers are different. And see, a lot of women dated tiger types when they were in their prime. And they say they want lion types, but yet their mindset is set up for tiger. Why is this important? Because you as a man need to understand what you are. Self-awareness. Are you a lion or are you a tiger? And you only deal with your species. If you're a male lion, don't deal with a lady tiger. She's not set up for you. She is a big cat. <laughs> God, <laughs> scratch balls. Oh, she, she, uh, uh, she's not set up for you. And yeah, they've tried to crossbreed lions and tigers and call them ligers, but no. 
a lady tiger uh, will cause male lions problems. Get a lioness and male tigers they ain't even I'm sure they'll I'm sure they'd smash a lioness but they ain't even hanging out in that area They're like man I'm going back up in these mountains up in these hills y'all can have this grassland so anyway and this is the so what you do between 30 and 40 with women will set the stage. I'm assuming 18 to 29, you did the Esquire phase. At 30, you come to the crossroads. Lion, tiger, relationship, marriage, or no marriage. Short term, whatever. What you do in this, what you do right here in this decade will determine the rest of your life. Fuck up. And this is where a lot of guys tend to fuck up. A lot of guys tend to mess up. They survive their 30s without making babies and then they get reckless and start having unprotected sex and mess around and get a hyena pregnant. (laughs) Get a hyena pregnant. You ain't even even a lion or a tiger, a panther or a cheetah. I'm not even in that majestic. You mess around and get a hyena mindset Mindset, a hyena mindset. Understand something. Hyenas are 180 degrees opposite from tigers. It's a matriarchy. The pack is run, the clan is run by the female. She's larger than the males. Female hyenas are larger than the males. The the, the clan is run by the females. The, the, the males eat after the children. Why do male, they, males die quicker? Why? Because what male, males have to eat what's left. And male hyenas tend to survive off of scraps and bone. This is why oftentimes people map the black community and look at similarities uh, in, a, in the animal kingdom and say, look at the uncomfortable similarities. The female hyena gives birth through an organ that resembles a schlong, a penis. Yes. Go look at, go do the research yourself. There's a video on YouTube talking about the horrible life of a male hyena. Male hyenas are abused. They are, uh, shit. Let me go right on to the life of a male hyena. Why it sucks to be a male hyena. Uh-um. Scarface, one of the hyenas I studied in Kenya. And like all male spotted hyenas, his life sucks. Babyhood is actually the pinnacle of a male hyena's life. Itty bitty cubs of both sexes rank just below their moms, who make up the entire top of the clan's social hierarchy. So cubs have decent. Said babyhood is the height of a male hyena's life because it's right then male and female hyenas rank right below their mama. And access to food, sleeping spots, and everything else. But male cubs glory days are short. Females generally don't like mating with males from the clan they grew up in. It's probably nature's way of avoiding inbreeding. So once males turn two or so, they leave their clan and strike out on a lonely, dangerous search for a clan with better mating prospects. Hello, son, husband. (laughs) <laughs> Lots of other mammalian males do the same thing, but for them, the transition to a new group is an opportunity to challenge high-ranking individuals and increase their social standing. Not so for male hyenas. 
They endure aggressive hazing by the new clan before even being allowed to join. And once a male does gain acceptance, he becomes the very lowest ranking hyena in the pecking, or bone cracking order. You heard that. Once he gets in a relationship, he's at the bottom. He's at the bottom. How many guys, how many times have I heard guys in relationships saying, damn, man, it was better out here when I was single? Because now that I'm in a relationship, I'm at the bottom. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's hard out here for a hyena. Telling you, man, hyenas, uh, hyenas have issues, man. Hy hyenas, hyenas got issues. So let me finish this out. Y'all want to finish the rest of that? Y'all want to finish the rest of that? Okay, I get it. The tastiest food rarely makes its way down to him, and there's no way to move up the social hierarchy besides simply waiting, either for new males to join the clan below him or for males ahead of him to die. No adult male will ever top a single female, resulting in a female-dominated hierarchy. No male will ever top a female, resulting in a female-dominated gynocracy, matriarchy, when Big Daddy died, the only way you moved up in your family and you still get pumped. Remember when, I, when, when Maria was talking about how she fixes her husband the plate and Big Shirley and his, his unmarried sisters were hazing him? He used to have to do it when he was little. He used to have to serve them. Remember that? And she's like, dang, all them unmarried hyena mindset women were hazing the lioness of the lion. And whenever he's around out in his in territory, he probably moves one way. When he comes home, a lot of black men jump back into this hyena mindset. This is all weird. Unlike most mammals, male hyenas are subordinate to females, which... Unlike most mammals, male hyenas are subordinate to females. Sound like, sound like anybody's community? It's probably because, unlike most mammals, female hyenas are bigger and meaner than males. Because unlike most mammals, the female hyenas are bigger and meaner. Luther, are you angry with me? Than most males which is probably thanks to their need to stand up for their offspring in this kind of crazy feeding frenzy. Because of their need to stand up for their offspring. You know, the 80% of the children that they choose to bear out of wedlock uh, were dudes that they wouldn't typically marry. And, unlike pretty much all mammals, physically fit or socially capable individuals can't make their way to the top of hyena society to do most of the decision and baby making. They're because unlike most animal clans where physically fit and capable can make their way to the top, not in hyenas. They're the only social mammals we know of with such a rigid hierarchy, and we don't yet know why. The only social mammals with such a rigid hierarchy, and we don't know why. Oh, we in the black, black men know why. We know why. Because once females have power and they're larger and they're meaner, they don't want to give up power. That's why they try to cancel us and dox us. And, oh, they went L Magazine and all this other stuff now. Oh, yeah. And they try to make it all seem like it's just hate and massage and war and tropes and this and that. Uh-huh. Spotlight hyena mindset. We do know the outcome, though. Male hyenas like Scarface end up plagued with injuries from harassment and hazing, endure prematurely worn down teeth from eating too many bones, and damaged scars, injuries, inside and outside, worn down teeth from having to eat too many bones. Oh, this is, yeah, y'all thought, thought it was a joke, huh? Y'all thought I was just saying stuff. 
and on average, only live half as long as females do. Half the as best long. they can hope for is that at the end of the day, they'll have left behind a few cubs. That's the best they can hope for. A male hyena strikes out on his own because the mama don't want him around, got to go out into a rough world, run up on Shirley and her sisters. When he try to get into the family, they harass him and torment him. And then we finally get in. All he's good enough for is to make baby hyenas who outrank him, who outrank him, no matter what he does, no matter how, what his value becomes, the hyena mindset won't allow him to his rightful place of the mammal hierarchy as a male, no matter how strong, how creative, or how whatever. So he has to endure hazing, injuries, internal, external, ground down teeth from eating bones, blah, 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 and has a, a, a much shorter life expectancy. And his ultimate goal, his ultimate giving his ultimate giving him flowers now is he got a chance to make a baby. But do you think he feels good for the sons that he made? If he made daughters, he's like, whoo, at least she at least she's gonna have it easy in the community. But if he made sons Which is not the best for the ones that turn out to be males. Woo! Whoa! While I was getting my PhD, I spent several Woo! I called that one, didn't I? She said, which turns out not to be the best for the ones who turn out to be males. She said it. She said it turns out to not be the best for the ones who turn out to be males. Uh-uh. You can't make this shit up. You cannot make this shit up, people. I'm sorry for the people who don't like me, but you cannot make this shit up. So, don't get mad at me because y'all act like hyenas with your mindset. The hyena mindset. Now, I want to be clear. Make sure everybody understand. I wasn't calling everybody, no, no woman a hyena. I said a hyena mindset. I'm going down fading a little bit, guys. So we need to go ahead and the Zoom is open for the guys to come in. I want to talk to guys who were at least 25, preferably 27. Those, if you're 27 or over, the preference is going to be to you because we're talking about the next phase in life. Hyenas. Why it sucks to be a male hyena. That's the title of the video from Minute Earth. Why it sucks to be a male hyena. His only crime, born a man. Hello. How you doing, Mr. Samuels? I am well. How old are you? Uh, 22. Okay. Uh, what's your question? So uh, I'll actually be uh, relocating to Atlanta uh, this fall for law school, and uh, for law school? Yes, sir. Okay. Where? Uh, I just wanted some uh, advice on, you know, how to get started, you know, how to uh, find those uh, high value groups you were talking about on Monday. Well, kind of not what we're talking about tonight. Um, I don't, I mean, that's, that's a broad question, man. I really can't break that down. Well, where'd you go to college? Um, right now I'm at a uh, Miami, Ohio. So I'm pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Are you in a fraternity? Uh, no, sir. Well, uh, unfortunately, man, um, you're going to kind of be stuck. I, I really can't help you with that. That's a long, that's a long, uh, thing to get into, but I would say like anything else, are, are, were you really social in camp on campus? Uh, yes, I was, uh, involved with athletics. Uh, I was a basketball manager, but, uh, COVID pretty much, uh, destroyed, you know, my college experience. Well, yeah, well, unfortunately, um, 
Yeah, I, I can't really go into all that one. That was going to be too much. This is a question better for the lead attorney. Go over to his channel. Book a session with him. He's an attorney down here. He probably have more stuff for that one than me. All right. Thank you, Mr. Appreciate Chief. it. All right, guys. Uh, I'm also posting a link for Zoom. I prefer you guys to click the Zoom link because StreamYard is a uh, StreamYard is a bit eh. Do 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 do. Uh, yeah, let's put let's put it here. So, drop that. Uh, hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. How old are you? You talking to me? Yes. Oh, I'm 45. What's your question? So I don't have a question. It's just that um, you don't have I, a question. I've been listening to your content, and I okay. just wanted to, to okay. kind of read. Kind okay. Of, um, hold, hold on, hold on. If you don't have a question, if you don't have a yeah. question, I got, I got to get to the people who have questions. Oh, oh. Thank you, guys. I have very limited time today, okay? So you know what? I'm going to shut down StreamYard because StreamYard allows people just to kind of get in the free flow and talk. And I really don't have time <laughs> for that. I really don't. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to just go up back over to Zoom and boom, there we go. You know, luckily my computers decided to come back on for some reason after... The power of an air duster, man. thought the battery was out, but apparently it was just something. So, uh, who's in the chat room who's over? You got to be on camera or I'm not putting you in. Uh, who's over Who's over uh, 27? If you're over 27, raise your hand. All right, you're over 27. Nick. Unmute yourself, Nick. Okay. Nick, go ahead and unmute yourself. I can now. Uh, what'd you say? Kevin? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. How are you? So, uh, what's your question? Talking tonight about, you know, uh, lions versus tigers. Uh, I, I think, you know, in terms of trying to be self-aware, I find myself to be more of a lion, right? I had, uh, the question I was thinking about asking you right tonight is for, so for lions, you think it's in terms of where we're going with all this sort of, uh, I'm rambling. So yeah, you are. Uh, yeah. Come on guys. In terms of, yes, let me move forward. Um, in terms of all this work moving towards the digital space, do you think it's advantageous to sort of move into a, a bigger city, build a network there, and then try to take those skills you built there and then move to maybe not necessarily a rural location, but a oh small Oh my God, market? dude, 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 dude. Yes. You gotta shorten the question. Sure, sure, sure. What are you asking me? Should you one take, sentence, one, one or two sentences, please. Should you take your skills from a, that you gain in the bigger market and your salary from a bigger market and then move it to, and then move that to a smaller market if you're looking to be a lion? Yes. Okay. Where else are you going to find lionesses? Idaho okay. Springs? <laughs> well, that, that, that's the... That was the question I had, so that's that's really it. And I, I mean, well, y'all, also... come on, guys. Some of y'all got to just think. This is some of this stuff is common sense. Okay. What city do you live in? I live in I live in D.C. currently. Okay, have you been Have you been to Montana? Uh, I've been I've been to I've been I was in Oklahoma City for a while. So that's not, not Montana. Montana. My point. My yeah, point. Is, okay. Yeah. Okay. No. So of course. If you're looking to find, if you're looking to be a lion, you need a lioness. Where are you going to find them? All right. You, not trying to be, you, no, no, that was it. That was enough. Because here's the thing, guys. I, I really need you guys to, to be concise with your questions because, uh, go ahead. Um, James, unmute yourself. Hello? 
Hello. Mr. Samuels. How are you? Good. How you doing? Um, I'm okay. How old are you? I'm 45. And my question is, would you be willing to publish a singles ministry curriculum to help more couples come together in a way that could be better for society? A singles ministry career. Okay. That's really kind of off the subject of, to, of men's week. Um, I know. I know. But I think that you've, you've done this before though, right? You've worked in singles ministry. Yeah. Before. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, yeah. I worked in singles ministry before, but I mean, I don't know. I, I doubt it. I doubt it. They're, you know, that's what the pastor should be doing that. The pastor's in church. I, I'm only one man and I can only do so many things. But I mean, you're, no, you're no, 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 that's my, that, that's my answer. That's my answer. And that's kind of off the subject of men's week though. Thank you. Right, I appreciate it. Guys, do me a favor. St keep on the subject of men's week. And I'm only one man. Kevin Samuels. We got this bad in the black community. Y'all do it. Y'all do it. And if you want to talk about it and, and advertise it, Come over here. Pay to advertise. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Alexander. D O A. Uh... Hello? Yes. Hello, Kevin. How old are you? I'm 25. All right. What's your question? So um, I'm in, I think, the category that you would call the tiger, but I'm wanting to become the lion. Um, I'm in cybersecurity. Uh, I make Henry money, but I'm kind of trying to figure out how to turn that corner now, um, especially with the what, COVID. What is your question? Has changed. What is your question? You want to so become, you, as, you, as a young guy in an old guy's game, how can I position myself to be relevant in the room when I'm talking to those um, older people? I'm usually the youngest in the room okay. by 15 to okay. 20 years at least. It's not your turn. First off, you made a made a big mis. First off, you said I'm a lion and I want to be a tiger. You're 25. You're neither one. You're a pup. You don't have a dick yet. Not in this game. What did I say? What did I say? 30 is when this starts, right? Yes, sir. So why would you? Why would you be trying to? Why are you trying to get someplace where you're arguably five years away? Uh, I think more because I'm, I'm usually. You ain't special. They're not special. Just like women, you want too much too fast. You gotta wait. It's not your turn. Then you go over to men who are outrank you, out wisdom and out experience you, and you want to see why they don't fit. They don't fit because you're their son's age. And when you're their age, you'll understand. I'll give you an example. When I was in college, I got to be like 22 years old. I felt old as fuck on campus. And I'd be like, oh man, you man, you you young people this, you young folks that. And tell me that somebody was 45 and they're like, man, y'all were always at college, y'all were always at prom less than five years ago. It's not your turn yet. And then you wanted to get uh, do this to be able to fit in with men, right? That's what you said, to be able to, I'm the young guy and the old guy's, an old guy's game. Where? In the business uh, world or in your, in your personal life? Uh, business life. You're a young guy in the old guy's game and it's not your turn. See, what social media and has done is made young people think because they understand technology that they can run the world. There is a reason why you have to be 35 to be president. There is a reason why to be a Fortune 2000, 1,500 CEO, you got to be of age. You only see these CEOs in these tech kind of environments, they're very rare. In short, you're too young. It's not your turn yet. It's not your turn. You got to wait. You got to earn your way up.
There's no tricks. Okay, I understand. Thank you. All right. Have a good one. And and I stayed on that for a while because it's often, shout out to Gary V. Often Gary Vaynerchuk is talking to young people, 20, 22, 23, 25, and everything's like, man, you got time. Hello? Good evening, Mr. Samuels. How, how old are you? I'm 27. All right. Uh, what, what's your question? Yeah, I actually just turned 27 on uh, January 6th, so uh, reached a milestone in my life. Uh, you know, 27 club, don't really make it. But um, I was curious. Um, my question is, I think of myself personally, um, I'm, I understand that I'm probably still in the tiger phase, but I have the mindset of a lion. And my experiences in the dating market- Question, question, was, get, to, get to it. Yes, um, my, my, my experience in the dating market um, a lot of women, they see me as a tiger, but I have the mindset of a lion and the women's mindset doesn't question. really. Question, um, question. Yeah. What so is the question? How, how do I, how do I get rid of that, uh, that false impersonation that um, I look like a tiger, but I have the mindset of a lion. Like I, I'm struggling with that. You're 27. You're neither. I'm neither. Mm. I what's understand. The, I'm what's the oldest eighth. woman you've ever dated? What's that? What's the oldest woman you've ever dated? Uh, I would say 22. There you go. You're 27 and they're 22. Yeah. You're neither. See, what you guys are trying to do is you're, you're, not, even at the, you're not even 30 years old yet and you're calling yourself stuff that you're not. I laid it out very clear. 30 is when the past split. And I mean, I just met a 20, 25 year old lion tiger. And I got, and now I'm talking to a 27 year old tiger lion and neither one of y'all are there. Wait. And you're saying women have a false impression. No, it's the impression you give and you both aren't ready. Yeah, I, I understand. I'm not ready. Um, that's why I've, then, like, I've, Mm -hmm. I've dedicated like 5% of my life energy to women. You know, I'm very focused on myself right now. Well, then what, what's the question for? Why are you trying to change something and you're not ready for it? I, I guess I should. How, how do I prepare? I, you know, um, you're 27 and you just said I passed a milestone birthday. Didn't think I lived to be this long. Prepare to what? Be a lion? To run a pride? No. Um, you're I mean, not just... ready. You don't... You're just, okay. You wait to grow up. You guys are trying to... I don't understand the question. Do, I really you, do, do you... No, do you I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I think you're trying to live... I think you're trying to... I think you guys are trying to make a world fit according to what you want. Are you ready to be a husband? Um, mentally, I I would say I'm like seventy percent. Look here, man. See the first the fact of the matter that you even had to split this into categories says no. Why can't you okay. just accept the fact that you're not ready? Yeah, I know I'm not ready. I know. Then I'm not get ready. out of the conversation. You're not in a husband relationship conversation. So why are you trying to get women to look at you in a way that you're not? Because those are my goals for the future. And I understand. That Mother French toast. I don't care about your future. It's eight years away. Okay. What did your daddy say about it? What's that? My dad. What does your dad say about this stuff? I don't, I don't speak to my father. Thank you. Cause you're going at this conversation like a bitch. Really? <laughs> I, 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 I'm like not a getting woman. That. Cause I kept, how many times have I said, I've had to raise my voice and got to a place where I'm chastising. Cause I've told you, you're not ready yet. I understand that. You're I, trying, I, and this is what happens to so many young black men because we don't have fathers and we're not juniors. We are trying to become men before time, and we think we're trying. We're trying to do all this stuff too soon. You're not ready. 
I understand it's a goal that, of yeah. yours. If you're in the uh, fourth grade and the goal of yours is to go to college, you don't start filling out fucking applications. Did you guys in the chat in the Zoom room? Did I did I miss anything, fellas, in the Zoom room? Thank you. These are your these are, thank you. It's not me being hard on you. They see it too. Guys, there is nothing wrong with not being ready. It's it's not your turn to start. I was the assistant drum major before I was a drum major. I wanted to run, but it wasn't my turn. It's not your turn. It's not your turn. Let me get this brother in the car. It's okay for not being your turn. What you do is you support the guys whose turns it is, and you just watch. Hello. How you doing, Mr. Kevin Simons? Appreciate you having me on. Uh, cool. How old are you? 38. Okay. Uh, let's talk. What is, what's your question? Now, um, I, I know I'm a lion. My issue is the women that I run into now, uh, either the young ones, they want me to mold them, or the older ones, they're successful in their career. All they want is to, to smash. All they, they want is a smash button. Um, you said, I, you, said mind, you're a, you said you're a lion? You said what? You said you're a lion? Yes. Okay. Now, the women that I run into, either the young ones, they want me to mold them and teach them and help them grow, or the um, and, and I'm not really into it. I don't want to mold a young one. And then, then I you have the older women. You don't, you don't want to mold a young one? Not the, not the young ones that I'm attracting, no. Um, and then the older ones that I have, they're they're successful, but all they want is sex. All they want is to just relax. So I'm in my okay, head. I'm hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm going to say something, you, and I need you to understand you might not agree with it. Go ahead. I don't think you're a lion. I think you're a tiger. Okay. Okay. Lions want to mold the young ones. You I want to mold, I'll let you speak. You want the, you want the old ones to move like the young ones. Or you want the old ones to come preloaded so you ain't gotta teach. That's not what lions do. Part of being a lion is you gotta a woman should come. Ready to turn and ready to train. You must customize your woman for you. And if you're not really, it's like, uh, no offense, ladies, but I'm about to make an uh, an announcement. We got to potty train, all that other stuff. Because if she came already pre-trained, where's her owner, per se? I I hear what you're you're saying. I'm I'm not not disagreeing with that at all. Now, right, maybe, but, maybe, you don't want it, but you don't want it, but 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 the fact that you're dealing with young ones and old ones, young that want to be trained and old that are uh, are are to whatever means you're a confused cat. Okay, can I say this? Go so ahead. When I, said, when I said I didn't want to train, I said that I don't want to train the young ones that I'm meeting. The ones that I met, that I don't, they're not. I don't want the, okay, don't want the young ones that you're meeting, do they? For, I, hold on, the young ones that you're meeting, do they force you to talk to them, take them out, and do anything with them? My profession. Okay, can I can I explain this? The, my profession. So I, part of my profession, I train. So I run into a lot of women. Now they will approach me. They will come at me, and they will approach me. So I do have my pickings for now, business. Can, We're not no. talking about for business. We're talking about strictly in your personal life. No, no, no. It's, it's not for business. So the, what, I'm, what I'm saying is I train on a professional You train level. people in your business. Are you talking about in your personal life or your professional life? Because we've been talking prof- we've been talking personal life. Are you saying you, that you want a different caliber of female client? Okay, so the training that I'm talking about isn't physical training. It's not, it's not like a gym training. But the training that I do is for the, I, I work for the development of disabilities, right? So I train people who work in group homes. I license people who want to get members. Now, when I'm doing these jobs, the same women that I'm trained, they see me in my position, the younger ones, they'll come and they'll approach me, literally. Approach you for what? Me. For a relationship. Or to try okay, to then, okay, dude. See, you guys, did I miss it? You, you conflated the two things. You're talking about young women in the context of a personal relationship. I don't care if you met them in business. And this is another thing. The fact that I, I've already said that and you misinterpreted it when I was right on what I said, you're confused. 
You're not ready to lead. Understand what you're saying. You're not ready to lead a woman because your mind, you, you don't even have a, what would be a, okay. The part of the problem with women is women require instruction and a job description. And you can't be that. We can't even, you're not even on the same page. And my point is these young women who approach you for a relationship, uh, you have a choice to interact with them or not. Why are you interacting with women that aren't the kind of women you want to deal with? I'm not saying I don't know that until I start interacting with them. And then once I. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, either way, um, I got to get on to somebody else. Um, bottom line is gentlemen, uh, if you're going to be dealing with women, they need to have a purpose in your life. I mean, I, I'm sorry, man, but I, I don't want to be rude, but that's bullshit. What you just said. You don't know until they start doing something. Come on, man. All right. Hey, Mr. English, how are you? Good. How you doing? I'm 27. Okay. What's your question? Uh, my question is how to identify a uh, lioness. Well, again, you're young. Um, you have identify a lioness. She, uh, by her mindset, as far as mindset, mindset, what well, are the qualities? Uh, what, Okay, no, I don't. I don't mean to, this to sound insulting. Go look at National Geographic, and look at what lionesses do. When lions are gone, they watch the territory, watch the kids. They hunt. They do everything else. They keep. They they hold stuff down. But when a lion comes around, they demure everything else. They're social. Um, you identify a lioness by how she interacts with other women. Um, and also, um, women who aren't always just about fun. These women have to be working, a worker mindset. One of the key, most key things I said is if women want to uh, talk about relations with men in terms of easy, fun, luxury, no stress, no pressure, that is a woman you don't want to deal with because she doesn't want to deal with the real things in life. But you're still kind of young for this question, but I'm going to answer it because it can help other people. I'm assuming you believe you're a lion. The only reason why I would say that is because uh, I started a pride young. Okay. Well, in my schema, you started something. I don't know if you're a lion or a tiger yet, but I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to are you married? No, sir. I, I dealt with a hyena. How many kids do you have? <laughs> Three. What do you do for a living? Huh? What do you do for a living? What's your career? Uh, currently, I don't have a career. I work from home for a uh, medical company. You don't have a career? You don't work? You're an employee? No, I have a job. I have a job. I don't have a career yet. That's what I'm looking to get into right now. How many hours a week are you working? Uh, currently, right now, uh, 40, 45, if I can get some overtime. Single father. Okay, this is going to sting, young man. Hold on. I'm ready for it. What the fuck are you doing on YouTube? You should have a part-time job. With no I kids. Can't. I have to watch them, so I have to work from home. I would, believe me. I didn't work multiple jobs. You, ha you have to all watch. The, are all the children by the same woman? Uh, they're all around the same age. Six, four, and two. Are all, but all, are they all from the same woman? Two from one, one from one other. So, no. So, is that, if I'm hearing this correctly, you completed high school? Yes, sir. But... Did, but didn't go to college? No, sir. I dropped out. Do you have a trade? No, that's what I'm looking to get into right now. Looking Thanks to, to you. get in, looking to get into. Do you live with either uh, one? Do you live? Do you live with either of these women? Uh, no. Uh, me and my uh, last son's mother split do up. You, due to do you? Where do you live? I live in Tampa. With whom? Hmm? With your mother. No, I live. I have my own apartment. Okay. You need a roommate. 
and you need a you need a a, a trade this year. Are you still dealing with either one of their children's mothers sexually? No. Are you sexually active? No. Trying to stay out of that realm. When was the last time have you been sexually active in the last 12 months? All right. Yeah. Yeah, I have. Okay. I'm going to be honest, young man. You're sexually, you, your past has been sexually reckless. If you're going to be sexually active, you need to wear two condoms because you can't afford another kid. And with no trade, no profession, you are unskilled labor, minimum wage. And if you can't, now you're effectively working from home. You're effectively a, a, a wife. Because you keep the kids. Ooh, so we're talking about how to identify lionesses. What? Do, why? Why are you asking these questions? To be honest, uh, you know, I, I hope they reach the top twenty percent. But if I happen to be average. I would still like to have a family. I don't want to have a single. You have family. a family. You have three children, and you're a high school graduate. Yes, sir. And you've been reduced to being to staying at home with your children. And you came on asking questions about women. You don't need to be dealing doing anything with women. You need to be a monk until you get your stuff together. That means some sort of profession. Because honestly, man, you're not living like a man. You're living like a woman. Effectively, you might as well be on government assistance. Ooh. Damn. What's the most you ever made per hour? 19 an hour. The average woman in this country earns, black woman earns $37,000. Effectively, you're a woman. Damn. I'm not, I, I'm not joking, man. I'm not, and this isn't, I, I'm not saying this to clown you, but I'm concerned that you came in talking about women and you got three mouths to feed. You can't make any more babies and you got to get some place to where you're earning enough money because are you on uh, state run child support? No sir, I take care of my kids. I don't think you understand. The only thing, all, all they need to do to screw you up is one of those two women put you on child support. Taking care of them or not. It's a punitive measure. And then the government and the state watches everything. So my point is you don't need to worry about women. You need to get self, a profession or two and putting in 60 hours a week minimum. You, you're, you're, you're behind, man. You're really, really, really behind. 27 with yes, three kids. So women are not on your, on your radar. So I said, you need a roommate so you can save money? Is that your roommate? Yes, sir. Okay. Male or female? Male. Okay. Uh, you only have one? Yes, sir. Okay, um, I'm a fan of I'm I'm a fan of more. I'm honestly a fan of about guys like renting a house, three to four guys to a house, separate bedrooms though. No sharing no a bedroom sure. in there. But seriously, because you can dig yourself out of this, but you got to get a profession and a side job because you need a career because you got three mouths to feed. And even though you yes, take sir. care of your kids and things are going fine right now, life changes. If one of those women get with somebody, just do you, that's enough. That's enough. Yes, sir. All right, man. But uh, no more babies, man. None. No mas bebas. <laughs> All right, no mas baba. You got three kids, dude. Golly, uh, Darius, and then this brother in the blue. I can't pronounce your name. And then, okay, Darius. How are you? I'm fading, guys. I really am. I'm trying though. Hello. I'm, I'm doing good. How about you? 
Huh? I'm all right. How old are you? I'm doing pretty good as well. What's your question? So my question is um, just a quick little monologue before. No, 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 no monologue. No monologue. Get to the question. I know. It's just really no. quick. Uh, no, I, listen to you, I, I, I listen said no to monologue. AMS. I said no yeah. monologue. Okay. Uh, basically, I have a rotation. I just wanted to let you know where I got the rotation idea from, which is AMS. But other than that, I have one girl that's sticking out, and I'm kind of wondering how do I vet her more to maybe figure out if she can be that lioness. How old are you? How old are you? Back into How old are you? Twenty-six, turn twenty-seven. Okay. What What's the problem? What What do you think I'm going to say? The problem is with your question. I am young and yeah, I, exactly, so exactly. Uh uh-uh, uh uh uh. Nope, nope. It's problem with your question. You twenty-six year old dudes trying to step in at least no. And even I was just trying to tell you no. See, I'm going to say this to black men. Black men, young man, I need you to I need you to pay attention too. Stop trying to find your manhood through your dick. I want you young black, I want you black men to imagine a world where I did this. Snap my fingers. Thanos, reality stone. And away goes your penis and your balls. Every last one of your black dicks goes away. Then what are you? Your testosterone levels stay. Your muscular levels stay. Everything else remains, but your dicks are all gone. Where are you? What kind of man are you? Far too many of us black men try to make our masculinity and manhood through our dicks. We spend an inordinate amount of time in our youth trying to fuck our way into manhood. That's why you got so many young guys who aren't even where they should be thinking, I can fuck my way in, I can make her this. You And, you, and where do you rank amongst other men? We're the only group of men who walk around with our dick thinking that makes us a man. Go around other groups of men. They don't have to walk around and hire the CEO. Hello, or whatever the accent you want to put in. They are not judged by their penis. Their ability to fuck. And we have bought into this shit. Stop it. Stop leading with your dick. Stop leading with your game. Stop leading with your mouthpiece. So I said, lead with your wallet, which is your resume. Who you are. I don't hear as many young Asian men, Middle Eastern men, trying to control, get women on the right page. I mean, I'm in law school. I'm in grad school. I'm in this. I'm in that. I'm trying to buy this business. I'm investing in it. And we're trying to fuck our way through. No, no, this is why we, like I said, I'm going to stick it. We spend two, I don't, I, first time when I came to YouTube, it was the first time I heard all this talk, inordinate amount of talk of game. And I did it too. I did it too. I'm not going to lie. I did it too. When I was young, I thought that made you a man. The more, the more cut you got, the more you made a man. And, that, and there's a point in time when you're like, this is stupid. Every time you lay down with somebody, you risk either getting a sexually transmitted disease or creating a life. It's reckless. It's meaningless. And there are numbers you get to where you can be ashamed of like, God, I've had all this sex for what? Fucking doesn't make you a man. Now, fuck, but doesn't make you a man. That's for, that's for the family. And see, I wish we had more black men. I wish I'd have had an older black man come tell me, yeah, man, I remember when I actually, when I hit puberty and I started really, really digging girls and I, everything out of my mouth was about women, 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 women. And I had one dude, in, uh, my uncle, and I'm not an uncle, but a cousin in LL, he was like, man, every, everything you say is about women. He's like, I know you just hit puberty. He's like, but life is more than women. And he actually schooled me. He's like, you know, 
just because you can let, bed a bunch of women and, 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 and rap to a bunch of women, that don't make you a man. It's part of being a man, but you're still a man whether you got everything. He's like, you watch. He told me, you watch. The guys who are the best with women now, when age 40, they're going to be, well, not 40. He's like, when we get older, they're going to be in the worst position. And you know what? The guys who bloom, blossom early, got their beard and their muscles and all that shit early, tended to, tended to have uh, lower outcomes. Focus on the man's, focus on the manhood first, gentlemen. Women come. But even when you become a man, we got to stop this shit of trying to be the, the dick demon slayer, big dick energy, da, 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 da. Only group of men that run around trying to reinforce our manhood with our golden penis. Go ahead and unmute yourself. All right. Um, first, I would like to thank you for the, everything you do. Uh, but my question simply was, um, I wanted to know um, how long do I have before my uh, being single times me out of my career? Times you out of your career? Yeah, how old are so you? you always talk how, about yeah, how old men. are you? How old are you? 32. Uh, and what industry are you in? Um, I'm a co-founder of a software AI company, sir. You own your own business. Yes. Well, I see, it's different when you're on your own business. If you're still like in corporate America, uh, arguably around 37 for a man, 37, 37, 37, you don't want to reach 40 and be unmarried as a man in corporate America. It used to be younger, but around 35 to 37 is when you start and people get jumped. But if you're on your own business, it's different. And also, at this point of the stage of my career, should I should I even be looking to find a lioness or a lion right now? I mean, a lioness. I'm sorry. Well, or should I just keep on? Well, well it depends on what you are. It depends on what last. you are. It depends on what you are. At 37, you should be able to tell me based upon. No, I'm 32. 32. At 32, yes. you should be able to tell me what you believe you are. I'm definitely a lion. Um, I built okay. something from the ground up. Okay, um, well then, yes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if you're a lion, that's part of being a lion. All right. See what I mean? I just said, it, and, and what you just kind of represent is that lion who looks over at the tiger and like, that's a cool way. No, no, you're a lion. If you're really, if you're really a lion, a lion is social cat. How many male lions... What is it like? What is, are male, adult male lions without prides successful in the animal kingdom? What are they? Are they? No, no, they're no. not. They're always looking for what? They're lioness. They're always looking for a pride. There's yes. actually a term. What are male lions without a pride called uh, nomads bachelors small groups of bachelors they're called bachelors I'm definitely living the bachelor's life and what do I call bachelors Lion tigers eye. I call bachelors tigers. You're a lion who thinks the bachelor life. So maybe I don't think you're a lion. Lions know they're lions. Because you're asking the question, when does it affect me? What do we matter? I mean, well, you know, do you, how you, I mean, do, you about desire, do you desire to have a fan? Do you desire to have children? Uh, yes, sir. Do you desire to train a wife? Do you desire to train a wife? Oh, yes. Okay. Were your mother and father married? Uh, till I was about two or three. Okay. Uh, how long was your longest relationship? Seven years. How long ago was that? Uh, four years ago. So you were 28 
And you were. Uh, I was about 28 when I. Um, yep. When we stopped talking. So y'all, y'all were together from 21 to about 28. Are you currently? Uh, more oh, like 19. Are you currently dating anybody right now? Uh, no, I just got out of a relationship about a month ago. How long was that? Uh, my birthday, so about July. I don't know what that means. How long was the relationship? Uh, six months. Okay. Sound like you're more of a relationship guy. Okay. You're lying. Sound like, sound like more the issue, honestly, with many lions is we still, you may, you may still be in that nomad bachelor phase where you can't really run a pride yet. I was that. I always wanted to be the guy married with the family, but I could, I, I'm trying, married twice, but I always put my, the failure of my marriage back on me because I wasn't the leader I needed to be. Can I ask but, you a question? What do you do when the complaints are always about time? Um, I attract doctors, lawyers, whatever kind of woman, but it always reverts back to the same issue. No, um, no, 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 no. If it's about time, you're dealing with a, you're dealing with a a, a tiger mindset woman. Uh huh. Okay. Whatever time you have for, okay, the lionesses give lions grief about time. You know how much time a lion spends with his pride? The majority of his time is spent patrolling the territory, keeping it safe. You know when he comes back? When he comes back, when women are in estrus and they have sex for like three days straight, comes back from time to time. Go study lions. Lions spend most of their time out. What are li lionesses and the cubs spend most of their time in the pride. And when he comes home, she ain't, why ain't you helping me with these cubs? I wish you had more time. You know what happened? The cubs are like, hey, it's dad. Or they're like, oh, there's your daddy. You ain't never met him before. Yeah, that dude, yeah, that's your daddy. Oh, that's him? And he just lay down, chill out. They bring him, you know, hyenas start being like, oh, he back. Let's go find somebody else to fuck with. You know, if there's some big prey to bring down, he go over and slap the prey. And the women come around, hey, how you doing? You need a, you need a will to be sandwich? Yeah, I need a little antelope. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we're going to go in here with the kids. Okay, I'm going to take this nap for 22 hours. Most then, definitely. which one of y'all is an extra? So I'm like, fuck you. All right, then I'm. Uh, we're going to go back out here again. See you later. Study this stuff. I don't just make this stuff up, guys. Lionesses are busy running the pride while you're busy running the territory. If you got okay. a woman complaining about time, you know what you need to tell that woman? What is that? Fuck this shit, I'm out. Hey. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Because she, she's not a lioness. She's much more of a tiger. But that's the problem that we have with most of the, the women that look... <laughs> No, 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 because the mindset don't match with the outcome. Uh -huh. She might not look, she may not have stripes. She might not be orange. Uh -huh. Lions look different than tigers. You are the person I said at the beginning, trying to make a liger. Make a lion. Or continue to be frustrated. All right, guys, uh, I know there are a lot of people in here. I am running low, 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 low. Yeah, I thought I'd just, I'm going to tell you guys, a lot of people don't realize I put a lot of time and effort and thought into these broadcasts. I study a lot. Um, lion or tiger, man? Lion or tiger? Guys in your 20s, stop trying to, stop. Trust me, you don't want to get to this too soon. You don't want to get to it too soon because you might, you won't be able to, chances are going to be high you won't be able to handle it. You have time. You're not supposed to have all this stuff. You're really supposed to have things figured out as a man around about 40. That's why I said at 30 you start, and 35 is where you want to, at soonest where you want to grab your lioness. And if you, I think blessed are the tigers 
who recognize their tigers early on. Tigers have a much easier path in the modern world because they don't have to manage other people's emotions. What they have to do is be able to pay for their lives. Lions have to manage their territory and their pride. However, the financial responsibility tends to be more dispersed because you have a larger social network. I don't want to say the financial responsibility. The overall responses, the societal responsibilities tend to be dispersed. But don't be a lion trying to be a tiger or vice versa. That's where most of the problem comes in. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. All right, it's starting to hit me. Um, let's see. Um, yay. I don't need a cookbook. I'm a PhD. I'll have my roadcast and all that kind of figured out someday. Anyway, all right, guys. This was good. This is great. Till the next time, your godfather is gone. Yeah.